Hey everyone, welcome to Nerding IO. I'm JD, and today we're going to talk about AI automation, which is really hot in the, the industry right now. And for good reason. Uh, the reason this topic is so uh, important is because AI can automate a wide range of tasks from customer service with chatbots to data entry and lead generation, as well as marketing and so much more. For this video, it's for people that are specifically looking to get into the AI automation space that might have some development background, but are trying to start by finding a niche or clients in a particular industry. So we're going to talk about the current state of AI and how to contribute to the community. In this case, we're looking at our, our niche and putting together a scoring template with ChatGPT and Google Sheets. So first, the current state of AI automation. It's in its early stages right now, but it's growing rapidly. There are a lot of no-code solutions out there, uh, but if you really want to get the most out of AI automation, you want to do something that is a custom implementation and has a recurring revenue stream. And we look at that in various levels. So the different levels of AI automation are level one, and you can think of that as like a real estate bot, maybe used for like scheduling or questioning on a particular property or processes that go along with purchasing or renting real estate. Um, the level two would then be integrating that chat bot into different kind of uh, sales lead tools or automations using things like Zapier and Make. And then there's level three, which would be more of having a custom dashboard that not only allows the, uh, the user to come into some form of AI automation with the, the chatbot itself and have automation processes inside of that, but also the ability to take all that information for the um, potential niche that you're, that you're targeting and be able to customize that workflow in a simple UI UX manner. With that being said, we wanted to introduce Ever Efficient AI, which is our level three solution of AI automation. It's a productized version where you can have an initial setup and then you pay a monthly fee in order to uh, continue custom feature requests and priorities at at your at your leisure. So there's a couple of different ways to do custom integrations with AI automation. You know, you can use uh, some somewhat no code solution like Bubble, uh, and then Zapier and Make. These uh, these platforms make it super easy to to get things integrated and to have an automated workflow that you you can continue to push data through. However, there's also uh, a more customized way, which would be using something like Next.js, which is based on React, integrated with Stripe, and then some form of authentication like Auth0 or member stack. And it gives you a little bit more flexibility as to what the UI and UX is that you're trying to maintain for, for your niche so that it's customized to their branding and uh, expectations, et cetera. So what we did is we put together a template that allows us to quickly take information and get some parameters on what we would like to see out of a niche. So the way we did this is we took a Google sheet that will help us generate a prompt that we want to put into chat GPT. And we have these different kind of parameters. So we're saying we're looking for AI automation, which you can change and then a small to medium sized company. And we have some other specifics of like where we're going to look for these kinds of information and um, different channels, et cetera. But the important piece is that we're actually going to make this a table. And so the, while you can customize things up here, you should be able to copy this into ChatGPT. We're going to generate a table that has very specific things. So you'll, you'll notice like the sector, the offer, the industry, the position of the person that we would want to target, what things can be uh, automated, uh, and then a tangible metric that we can leverage in order to format our content or our pitch to this particular industry. And then there's a bunch of different um, 
table markers that we're going to calculate a score on. And that score will give us essentially like a heat map or a color coded way to prioritize which niches to go off first. So with that, we're going to take this prompt and we'll copy and paste it into ChatGPT. So now what we're going to do is paste this from sheets into our ChatGPT prompt. And I got rid of the quotes just because sometimes You'll get a little confused. Uh, so it's trying to, it's not listing it in the, the table format. Sometimes it gets a little confused. And now we have it actually, by just pasting it again and, and regenerating it, it's giving us this list. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this list and then we will go back into the Google Sheets and copy and paste this information. So we have a complete table. We're going to take this. Uh, I like to do the right click and copy as opposed to Command C just because uh, it seems to work a little better. We're going to go back into our Google Sheet and we'll hit the content. We want to make sure that we select everything up here in the corner, and now we've pasted the table directly into our content page. And the reason that we've pasted it here is, is you can think of it as almost like a draft. So now that we have this information, uh, one of the other things is, is that the score is just through one through three, and we want to use a calculation. So if we look at our score tab, what this is doing is it's now taking everything from these columns that are all color coded so we can have a visual representation of what we're looking at taking those numbers that it's doing as a prediction like for need for automation purchasing power etc and we can see it almost as a colored list and so now what we can do is so now that we have what I like to do is I like to sort this based on our score. So we'll select everything here. We'll go to data. Actually, what we want to do is we want to select just this range. And then we'll go to data. And we will go to advanced. And we pick our column, which is G for the score column. I like to have it as uh, highest to lowest, so we'll go Z to A. And now we have a color-coded color -coded, sorted heat map of what potentially to look at first for this, for this niche. And again, we have a link where we can actually include all this information into the, um, the pitch that we're going to put together. So Lastly, I just want to talk about this. Uh, one of the other things that we can do is look at something called we can look at something called instly instly.ai, which allows you to do in your uh, to 10x your leads and do email campaigns. So we'll have a follow-up video on this specifically to actually go through what an email campaign would actually look like based on the information that we got from our template. So again, this information from this template is how we'll populate the search categories for our niches. So I just want to remind you that this template is free. You can find all the resources and uh, a link to be able to download or get access to the template. You can make a copy of it and then you can customize it yourself just how we did. And that includes all the, the uh, data formatting and, and everything that you would need as well as the, the prompt and everything else. So I appreciate your time. And if you have any questions on follow-up topics or subjects that you'd like us to cover, uh, please let me know in the comments. Happy nerding.